Hi, my name is Dr. Kola Denker, and I wanted to go over Lis Frank's fractures, dislocations today. Uh, it's a very debatable topic, uh, so I'll cover a few things. If you have any questions, feel free to post them underneath or uh, put them on our Facebook page, uh, and then we'll kind of go from there. So, uh, Lis Frank's fractures uh, and the dislocation aspect of it, uh, when it is mild, uh, very frequently goes undiagnosed. Uh, it's something that you have to keep in the back of your mind when you're evaluating the x-ray and typically an MRI is needed to see the true extent of the injury. When the injury is obvious, when the joints are apart, uh, surgery is the best option to put things back together. <clears throat> and when it comes to surgery, there are a few options. Uh, some people will put screws across the joints. Uh, in my opinion, that is a bit too drastic and it destroys the cartilage inside of the joint, increases your chance of arthritis. If you need to stabilize something, uh, K-wires are a good option um, in order to hold things in place. In really severe dislocations, a good option these days is really just to primary uh, fuse the joints that are injured. Patients seem to do very well with that, and that is really in the severe options because what ends up happening is after dislocation, uh, the joints become arthritic, you get chronic pain, and you end up having a fusion in the future anyway. Delayed uh, types of diagnoses are a little bit more tricky, and it really depends on what the x-ray looks like and what the MRI or CAT scan end up looking like. And in those cases, either fusion uh, are a good option, but really stabilizing the joints uh, doesn't quite make much sense. Uh, at that point, you might as well just cast uh, the foot in a good position. Uh, another common question that's asked, well, after the surgery, will I need my hardware taken out? The Lis Frank screw is typically removed. That screw is held in place to allow the Lis Frank ligament to stiffen up. Uh, but the rest of the hardware will usually stay in place unless it's for temporary fixation to hold a dislocation in place. Uh, but with a fusion, the hardware doesn't need to come out. Uh, sometimes uh, if the hardware is painful, which is rare but can happen, it is surgically removed. Uh, there are options for, uh, for treating chronic pain like topical medications, uh, electric stimulants uh, like an eat, eat stim tens unit um, there are injections that can be done physical therapy is definitely a great option uh, and then you kind of get in the realm of um, more rare rare cases so if you have an interesting case if you have a rare case uh, feel free to post it on our Facebook page and hopefully uh, I'll be able to help you out with some answers. Uh, make sure to talk to your doctor. Uh, that will be your best resource uh, to answer the questions. And if you're worried, just uh, feel free to get a second opinion. There's nothing wrong with that. Just to hear a few different options uh, and what the take is on the current literature. Uh, hopefully everything works out well for you and uh, we look forward to helping you.